transgenic lines mostly perform very better when the um, superoxidase dismount is overexpressed. In this paper, uh, it is Liu et al. By, uh, in 2019, they showed that uh, this uh, hydroxylene peroxide mediated oxidative stress in the different class of plants. Here you can see the wild type plants are really suffering from the oxidative, uh, this uh, ROS production. Uh, the transgenic lines, they are performing better. Not only in this case, but also when um, in a biotic stress condition, the tra transgenic lines, you can say the old wild types are not really performing well in comparison to the transgenic lines. So there are something, and that means the SOD is working behind that so that um, they are giving some stress tolerance to the plants. There are APXs, as I mentioned, they, they are also in the front line of scavenging ROS into the system. Uh, they are also uh, very important there. So uh, in 2016, there was a paper in PLOS one there they uh, showed the transcriptional profiles of APX into the rice. Uh, the expression level was high in different tissues and also the expression of a uh, rice APXs under the stress condition, they uh, really performed better. That means uh, their expression level was really high on that case in, under the stress condition. So later on, when they are um, overexpressed into the plant system under salt tolerant condition, here you can see they can uh, survive up to 200 millimolar of sodium chloride. And also their root length and chlor total chlorophyll also perform better in case of the transgenic lines. And then similarly into the stomata aperture, as we discussed before that the ROS, um, during the ROS condition, stomatal closure is really important. So overexpressed line under the dark uh, condition, they showed the stomatal closure there. And also um, here you can see there are some parameters that can really describe the condition of the plants in case of the condition. So for example, proline content, then H2O content, and also NDA content is important to really check uh, the condition of the stress into the plant. Here you can see in comparison to the wild type, the transgenic lines under the salinity stress perform very good. And the H2O content is also very low here, and also the NDA content is low. Similarly, uh, this slide presents the similar function, but in case of the catalyst gene, uh, you can see the tolerance level into the wild type in comparison to the transgenic lines. Also, um, there was a report that is a mutant of catalyst gene and that performed that here. You can say if you knock out uh, or you have a mutant of catalyst, then that is not really good. In uh, you can see here, their, uh, their growth and development are not really up to the mark in comparison to the wild type. So that means uh, the catalysts are really important for the role and it plays a very important role uh, against the, any kind of stresses. So, and lastly, I would um, discuss about the last. Uh, uh, of uh, the active oxidant species, uh, this uh, antioxidant, antioxidant enzyme that is known as glutathione peroxidase. So mainly into the plant system, SOD and APXs are mostly important and they work into the front line, but GPXs are always uh, there, but not really started very well. So uh, in, during my PhD, we really worked on the uh, GPX proteins and we checked the expression analysis of rice GPXs under different developmental stages and abiotic stress conditions. So here you can see the expression level in different tissues are really high in case of rice. And here also you can see there and uh, the expression of glutathione peroxidases under different stresses also showed very high response there. So we overexpress one um, glutathione peroxidase gene from penicetum uh, and enhance the phenotopic morphogenesis and also resist the accumulation of ROS under stress. In, you can see the transgenic lines are performing better in comparison to the wild types. On the other hand, um, as I mentioned, as ROS accumulation and lipid peroxidation are the signals for the plant to show whether the, how the plants are performing. So here you can also see the proline contains, the MDA contains, and H2O anticoagulants. Transgenic lines are always better showing um, than the wild type plants. Also, in my uh, earlier slides, I discussed about the correlation uh, about the photosynthetic machinery because this is the first thing uh, that can adapt or the, could be. Uh, under uh, jeopardy by the ROS system. So we measured different photosynthesis efficiency and we found that the transgenic lines are 
apart from being way better here from picture as well you can really see the transient clients are really green and they are performing very well we also uh, went through the yield production and we found this uh, uh, there was no uh, pleiotropic effect on the plant uh, growth and also in the yield content so overexpression of gpx really gave some tolerance to the plants So uh, with this, uh, um, I would I would definitely say um, that, and also from the literature, also from what I understood, that maintaining a basal level of ROS in cell uh, is essential for proper cellular function. Mittler um, uh, showed these things very nicely. That means uh, decreasing ROS level below a particular threshold could result in a suppressed cellular proliferation, and also can negatively affect the differentiation and immunity. On the other hand. Excessive ROS are detrimental. Now, he discussed about three levels, for example, the cytostatic level, then the basal level, and the cytotoxic level. And proposed that uh, maintaining a basal level of a ROS, which is uh, um, above the cytostatic level but below the cytotoxic level, is very important. So, proper redox biology is essential for cellular process. He also proposed a bell-shaped curve to represent the same function. So that means if the ROS level are too high or too low, that can impair the plant growth and development. Whereas maintaining ROS levels within the right range promotes the plant health. So to summarize, I, I would say that the, it is an integrated overview of the redox homeostasis into the plant cell. That means plants undergo different abiotic and biotic stresses that can really uh, produce the environmental challenges. But on the other hand, plant has the antioxidant system itself by non-enzymatic and enzymatic components. So the balance between these two systems is really, really important. And that we discuss about uh, into the webinar that this balance can really control the hormone uh, production, degradation or conjugation, and also the signaling gene expression stress sensing, metabolic regulation, cell tissue differentiation, uh, or morphogenesis, and also organogenesis. And other words, um, words, the physical processes, for example, stomatal aperture or closure, cell wall loosening, membrane potential or modulation, cellular number or size, and also plant organs or interaction. So in a whole, the uh, radiox homeostasis into the plant cell that can control, and the control is in plant's hand that can really control its um, situation over there, but it might need some help uh, by the overexpression of um, some genes can be because maybe it could be the detrimental or it, the uh, stress, stress level is too high to combat, combine the, uh, combat, combat the um, situation but plants has the capability so we need to focus on the redox homeostasis very well so that we can help the plant but there are some questions uh, yet need to be answered so for example first one is multiple ROS sensing mechanism have been recently documented or suggested however although in predict uh, evidence suggests that existence of some mechanism for example a sensing of apoplastic ROS remain unidentified. We need to really focus on that part. Uh, number two, in many cases, ROS accumulation is connected to the calcium signals. However, it is not really very clear uh, to my point of view how these stimuli are connected. In this context, we can say that the most outstanding question relate to the identity of calcium channel and their activation mechanism. Number three, um, there are multiple lines of evidence support the concept of locality in ROS signaling. Therefore, the special emphasis should be dedicated uh, to the special distribution of potential ROS sensors. So uh, that is uh, another thing. So number four, uh, I would say the pro previously proposed retrograde signaling pathway based on ROS diffusion to the cytoplasm should be re-evaluated. Um, because uh, the recent documentation of chloroplast to nucleus protein and uh, hydrogen peroxide transport suggested that the cytoplasmic ROS can arise from multiple sources. So number five, although the signaling of function metabolites and their oxidative derivatives begins to emerge, but um, there are probably many more such signaling molecules that are await identification. And lastly, Relationship between compartment specific perturbations in redox balance and also uh, the ROS formation should be studied. 
and uh, how they affect each other is not always clear and will need to be addressed to determine exactly how they contribute to different signaling pathways. And uh, um, this is, uh, actually this concept is proposed by Suarez and I will definitely agree with this. This plant stress related studies that uh, is a combination of classical and innovative approaches by applying different morphological, biochemical and molecular tools uh, can be very essential or should be um, starting into the study so that we can help in a way so that plant can really overcome this stressful condition. Uh, at the end, I would like to acknowledge or I would like to thank the plant molecular biology group at ICHV New Delhi, uh, my PhD lab over there, uh, to giving me the opportunity to work over and also ICGV for providing me the fellowship. I would like to thank my present lab, which is Plant Breeding Institute, Keele University. Although my work is completely different now, I'm completely working on a different project here, but still, uh, this is a uh, really important to uh, study as well. So uh, this is my group here, and uh, we are very nice group and very lovely people. I would, I'm really happy to work here. And lastly, I would like to thank uh, the Plant Breeding and Biotechnology Lab back in Bangladesh uh, in the, at the plant, at the Department of Botany, Dhaka University. And at the end, I will like to thank all the members of the Biogene for giving me the opportunity to focus or share my experiences so far with you all. Thanks for your attention. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, we, uh, we keep some of question in Q&A box. Can you uh, get it? It is 12. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. As always, you can answer a few of them. OK. Okay, I can see some of the questions, okay. Hmm. Uh, I can see one question that is, uh, what is the role of ROS in plant disease management? Uh, so, as I uh, discussed only uh, disease, disease management, I would say not really, uh, there are not so many, so much of a study so far, but uh, this, is an, this is an emerging topic, I would say. So uh, as I mentioned during the fungal invasion, if you remember the slide or if you go through the slide again, then you will find that uh, both of them are really having this scavenging system. So both of the system can really sense their signals from each other upon uh, invasion of the fungal hyphae or maybe uh, some other other biotic factors. So scavenging system itself uh, works there in the as a signaling molecule to activate the antioxidant mechanism over there. Mm. Okay, there is another question then, uh, can manipulation of uh, ROS induce gene silencing? Mm, it can be, like, yeah, the manipulation of ROS, uh, it, it, it is possible, like, you can really, uh, by manipulation into the ROS, it can lead to the gene silencing as well, because it will harm in a way so that the plants and other, uh, the DNA level and DNA level and also the protein level can be really harmed in a harmful condition. So it can be related to the gene silencing. Mm, yeah, someone asked uh, about the antioxidant good for human health uh, or not. Okay, mm, uh, that's not really relevant to that. Okay. Okay, I, uh, I think it's fine. 